Welcome to this video on project cost estimation for beginners. As a designer, it is important to have the basics of drawing up a project cost estimation, especially at the early stage of the project. The project budget will always influence the scale, selection of materials, and style of architecture. And having cost estimates early on can help make design decisions. In this video, I'm going to share with you few basics for putting cost estimates on your project. This video is structured into two parts. Part 1 will go through the basic calculation of quantities and costing using simple methods and tools. Part 2 will be using advanced ways to get accurate estimations by using project model BIM data. Without any further ado, let's get started. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like and share this video with anyone you think will benefit from it. Also check out our resources store which has tons of templates, presets, courses, ebooks, and BIM projects to advance your workflow. We also have a Patreon membership where we share resources, projects, and assets we use to create our YouTube videos. For 24-hour support, join our WhatsApp community group with like-minded people like you in the link below. Here's the project that we're going to use for the first part of our video. We're going to use this project to demonstrate um, the quantification and putting cost. So let me zoom in here so that you can appreciate the scale of the project. It's just a two bedroom house, as you can see. And what I have here is the is a full set of drawings that good enough for me to do quantification and put cost. It's, a, it's not that bad in terms of the design. <laughs> let me know in the comment section what you think about the design of this project. So in order, in order for you to put cost um, in any project, you need a tool, a tool to do that. In this case, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel to, to demonstrate this. It's one of the mostly used uh, tool in architecture and construction industry to put cost. Uh, I prepared a template for this. It's a spreadsheet template that you can um, customize to your own taste. And it's highly optimized for this kind of uh, work so check on the link of the description to download this if you want to follow along with this um, video so let's go back to the project what i would recommend for you to do um, if you want to be efficient in doing because you need quantification first before you can even think of putting cost so i'm not going to use acrobat reader uh, or the pdf what i would do i'll have to take this to the uh, software that I to allow me to zoom in out and even take measurements such as um, Archicad or Revit, even AutoCAD depends on your your preferred software. You can I'll drag this and place in Archicad in this case. Most of I'm using Archicad. Let's find the folder and then drag this file into my. I would choose a layer or show a layer into my Archicad. Remember, the CAD softwares are a, are a vector-based um, software. So, in this case, because I've loaded an image, it's going to be it's a raster image. You know, it's a raster file. So, I need to convert this into a vector file by accessing the 2D lines or 2D information of this. So, what I'll do, I'll right click while it's been selected, and then let's explode this into the current view. And then this window will pop out. I'll just ignore everything and then hit OK. It will now do the conversion of this into a vector file. So wait for some seconds. It will depend on the speed of your computer. It might take a second for your computer. So yeah. Let's just hang on. Yeah, once it's done converting this, um, I will delete the background image. Just hit delete. Let's hit on delete. Why is not deleting? Okay. Yeah, now it's gone. Um, now what I've left, I've left with just. Uh, let me change the graphic override combination. I would say no overrides. Yes. What I have now is a completely um, 2D information for this project. 
as you can see it makes my life easier because I can zoom around and even confirm some measurements if I need to so it would make my exercise look pretty easy okay I'm pretty happy with the drawings that I'm going to use for the quantification let's go back to the um, spreadsheet excel template let's come here so like I said this is highly editable what you can do you can uh, replace the logo by right clicking on the image and change the picture and uh, locate whatever folder where the logo might be your logo like for example let me just find uh, and just beam this like so and then here it's editable as well you can key in the company name okay and then the company address so i'm not gonna go ahead and do that i just wanted to show you how editable this it is and then if you scroll down here this uh the structure of the the, the, the template it consists of the stages of the project as you can see that's how it's been structured we we'll start with the substructure where this foundation activities are located we have superstructure also the the brickwork the shell of the brick of, of the building and then later on the interior finish down below here these are the sub totals for your material and labor and then you have total um, cost of the project here which is basically the material plus labor um, cost so that's basically it in terms of the the structure of of this, this template and then what, what you see here is the calculations on these columns we've, we've got two different types of calculations we have calculations for material and then we have calculations for labor so each each has the rate that um, is multiplied to get the total cost of each section so in this case um, in order for you to find the cost of the material for excavation or for example or for any stage here you have to have a rate and rate depends on where you are in the world uh, it's, it's, it's different from or it's different from country to country in my region I have keyed already in the rates that are being used here this is information that is easy you can get it anyway especially around the professionals you are in in the land the quantity surveyors you can ask for this kind of information you would get it so similar place to the uh, labor is also has its own rate as you can see and the cost here so let us start by looking at the setting out setting out normally we, we do it it's a fixed uh, rate depending on the scope of the project or depending on the square footage of the project so normally this is not that much in terms of this calculation what i'll do i'll just key in a fixed fee for this type of project it's a small project and i would uh, uh, according to the the fee schedule for the setting out in our region it falls under bracket of 4000 uh Buddha. It's equivalent to 400 US dollars. I'll just key in the value there, and then if when it comes to excavation, excavation, <coughs> I beg your pardon, sorry about that. Excavation would need quantity in order to multiply it with this rate to get our cost. So let's go back to the building or to the drawings. Um, I'm gonna just do that. Yeah, in order for you to get the quantity or the amount of excavation of your project, you would need a, a square area of the, or the building footprint area of your project. In this case, it's going to be uh, this distance or this um, dimension multiplied by 8.8 .8 meters. And you would get, I already have the built area, here, which is 92 square meters. But because it's a volume, for excavation we would need to multiply this area by the depth of our footing or foundations so that information of depth of footing can be uh, derived from the details or even here from the section you see it's it's 690 uh, deep which is uh, is going to be multiplied by 92 to get your your quantities <coughs> sorry about that so it's good. So it's going to be in the two uh, multiplied by 0 0.69 because this is um, in millimeters so 
the area is in meters so i have to convert this into millimeters so let's go back to the template and run this um, calculation so like i said it's going to be um i'm gonna hit equal in your keyboard on the cell of the quantity and uh, it's going to be 92 multiplied by 0 0.69 which is 690 millimeters and then hit enter that's the quantity of the excavation or the material that is going to be excavated for our building so it's going to be multiplied by this 270 and then you get um 17,000 pula which is equivalent to uh, 1.7 us dollars so in order for you to get this total i already said the formula that's why it's calculating it automatically and let's see how you to do the formula so i'm going to say equal by clicking on the cell and then hit equal in your keyboard and then i'll say the quantity which is six um three six three point four eight multiplied by two seven zero and then hit enter it will give you the the value or another alternative you can say equals and then you click on the cell for the quantity and then you enter the multiply um, equation and then you click on the rate cell hit enter it to give you the same results perfect right so in terms of the labor in terms of the labor in, in excavation we don't need to calculate the material remember we are just excavating we just need equipment and labor but in this case for us in order we have a rate in order we have a rate that would determine us to calculate the labor um for this excavation i don't know you get what i'm trying to say we don't need let me explain it again we don't need material in excavation because we are just excavating right we need equipment and labor only but in this um uh, template i've used 270 rate to multiply it with an area or with a volume or the quantity of the excavated material in order to get a, a, a value that i would use to multiply it with the rate for labor and get the labor cost is that um i hope this makes a lot of sense if it doesn't let me know in the comment section where you don't get it so that i can um, assist you um if i didn't explain it clearly so if you move on to the footing um activities also we need the volume of the concrete that needs to be uh, casted for our for our footing so we need we have to calculate the quantity we have to quantify how many footing of or how many concrete of footing we need for this project and we have a rate here is 1200 pula which is quite it's equals to uh, 12 us dollars so let, we go back to our project drawings and let's see for the concrete to get the volume we would need the surface area as well the surface area of the the surface area of 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 the the building and multiplied by the depth or the height of your concrete in this case this information can be derived from here so the height of our footing is 230 right so we're gonna multiply this by the area which is 92 and get the amount of concrete that is going to be needed okay so this is because it's part one part two out be demonstrating the advanced way of um, extracting quantities and you, you would have the comparison and see which one is the best and i would recommend my approach as well i would recommend the best as uh, towards the end of the video once we've done the part two of the video okay so let's go back to the um, estimator tool what we need to do is to calculate the quantity of the footing sorry it's here it's going to be equal um 92 which is the area of the building multiplied by the height of the footing which is 290 it's going to be it's 250 it's going to be 0 0.25 which is in meters it enter it's 23 square cubic so we're going to multiply this by 120 and it give you um 27,000 600 pool so let's move ahead and do the formula i want to say equals multiplied by 
sorry it equals um, area no the quantity sorry multiplied by the rate and then hit enter it will give you 27,600 so for the uh, labor we have 0 0.35 uh, per sorry we have 0 0.35 times the cost material cost which is around 9.6 so like I said the template is already optimized for automation once you key in the quantity to give you the cost of the of the of the material as long as you have the, the, the appropriate or the correct rates you'll be fine so move on into foundation of pre quick yeah this there's there's a couple of um request on this one because before i started uh, working on the the preparation for this video i uh, was engaging um, a lot of guys to contribute to the video and they, they were asking i should demonstrate how to calculate number of bricks in um, in uh, in Archive. that one would be on part two but for now um it will be on the, the part two of this video so just hang on and uh, towards the end of the video i'll demonstrate how you can achieve that so for the quantity of the brickwork in foundation we're going to use this uh, it's going to be in meter squared so we're going to find i don't know why we don't have yeah, it's going to be in, in meter squared and then we're going to multiply the total area this total surface area of the walls or the foundation walls by 290 pula which is the rate and we'll get the cost let's go back to our drawing okay so in this case you you would um you'd find the structural walls that's that's where only foundation is going to be uh, cast so we have the the footprint walls which i'll treat them by the side we have this wall that is 11.4 meters long and then we have this one which is 8.8 .8, and then the same to this one and that one we have the fifth one which is on the center these are the five walls for brick work foundation so what i would do to calculate the surface area we need the length and the height so the height information is going to be in the elevations or section the height of wall is 3.1 so what i would do i would say let me bring a text here go to design to palette no under documents let's find a text tool what i would do i would say i have um four walls right I have four walls. No, let me do it this way. There are five walls here, and uh, the two walls are equal, and they are going to be. Let me see. There, uh, it's going to be eleven point four. They're going to be. 1400 multiplied by 3.1 that's the surface area of these two walls and then we have another two walls that are equal they are going to be is this length which is 8.8 .8. so it's going to be 8000 800 multiplied by 3.1 we get our surface area so and then we have this length this wall the fifth one i think it is pretty much equal to the ones that are vertical i think i would uh, there will be three let me say there are three here yes okay so this is basically the formula that we are going to calculate um, the surface area for the for our walls. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the um, estimator tool. Let's go there, or maybe bring a calculator first. 
let's bring our calculator and then I would say 11 point because this has to be in meters it has to be in meters <coughs> sorry about that let's say 11.4 multiplied by 3.1 meters that's the surface area which is 3.5 for these three walls 3.5 right and then we have 8 point eight multiplied by three point one that's two point seven plus three point sorry plus thirty five that's the total area total surface area for our walls I'll copy this information let's go back to the estimator tool we're going to paste that here and it's going to get eighteen thousand that's the rate so if you still want me to go through uh to go um, to run the process of uh, the formulas it's equals and you click on the quantity key in multiplication and click on the rate it enter it will give you the cost same applies to the labor cost so the rate is 0.35 multiplied by the material cost so we're going to say equals and material cost multiplied by the rate cost and then hit enter so the labor will be six thousand which is 600 us dollars for the brickwork okay i hope this makes sense a lot guys um so this brings us to the end of the first uh, the the first part of the video i hope you, you really understood um the concept behind the quantification and then come here into excel and put cost so like i said the rates they differ from country to country you need to find it and make sure you have keyed have it keyed in your 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 your, your, your template so that once you end up just the digits um for the quantity and for the it will give you the the cost of the material so that's basically it. For, let's just do the big filling and slip let's just complete our our brick our, our foundation um big filling is same as the setting out normally it's a fixed price because there is no material needed there it's just to bring back the material that is being excavated and compacted so what you need is just the labor so this one is pretty easy the concrete slab we need volume the volume of the concrete that's going to be poured there so what we need here if you go back to our drawing what we need is just the area the belt area or the surface area multiplied by the depth of the slab so we're gonna find that information maybe on the details here let's see the slab what i say that's it's 150 millimeters thick so it's gonna be multiplied by the surface area which is 92 if you go back we're going to say the volume of the concrete slab is going to be the area which is 92 square meters multiplied by um, 0.15 which is 150 millimeters thick slab then hit enter so it gives us the okay so i don't know why it says value when it say has it value it might be the the information doesn't fit on the cell you can double click on the cell header here okay it's not the information maybe it's the i think it's the no i didn't do it properly you see here let me just zoom in okay the calculation is wrong let me do it again it should be equal i forget to put an equal here so that it can give me the the calculation right so now it's fine it's it's 13.8 cubic meters for our slab and then the rate is 1.2 um or 1200 pula per cubic meter which is this multiplied by 13.8 so it gives us um 
16,000 pool. So for labor, it's going to be 5,000 pool. So that's basically our foundation. It's complete. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to the second part of this, uh, the, of the video. The second part is um, we have a dashboard within the spreadsheet tool. If you click on this tab, it's your dashboard. So how does this help you to speed up the, the quantification workflow? So here is the perfect area or is the perfect place for you to do all the calculations and then project it in your cost summary, right? I've been, I've been working on the cost summary, but in, 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 in best practice, you would have your dashboard where you do all your calculations and then you extract information to the cost summary. What do I mean about that? Okay, for example, if you look at the the dashboard, it's been divided into five parts. These parts um, consists of the activities that happens in every stage of your project, like how the cost summary has been structured as well. As you can see, under excavation, we have the substructure excavation. We have the volume there. In each activity, you'd have already the the values as you can see service area blah 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 what does this mean now to your cost summer so if because i've already tempered with uh, the foundation i want to use it demonstrating on the superstructure okay so for example let's say let's say we go under superstructure and then we change the value for the surface area of our brickwork let's say it's around 100 square meters if you go back to your cost summary, you'd find this information being captured here and already it's doing all the calculations and give you the cost of material and the cost of labor. How does this work? If you click on this cell for the brickwork, around uh, for the quantity of the brickwork, you'd see, look at the, the status bar there. It gives you this equals to dashboard um, exclamation mark e e11 e11 is the cell that is being derived from the dashboard which is the value for um the value for the surface area of our brickwork so to link the, your dashboard and the cost summary what you need to do is uh let me hit escape what you need to do is uh you click on the cell right and then you say equals Okay, and then you come here on the dashboard, you click on that particular um, cell you want to extract information from. So in this case, it's going to be service area, and then you hit OK. So it will extract the quantities and you would see that the cell is being referenced by seeing equals to dashboard or it will, it, it will put the name of the tab that is, is being or the name of the <clears throat> of that particular tab that's what i'm trying to say so if i rename this tab let me rename it uh, if i rename it uh, how do you rename okay let me escape let me say dashboard 11 so all the this it will say dashboard 11 that's basically that okay let me just clean it up so I could, if I have all the information about the project, what I need to do is do all the quantification here and then the cost summary will do the rest of the costing part. That's basically what I'm saying. So if I continue with the rest of the activities under superstructure, let's go back and say the length of here, the rim beam, the rim beam form is going to be maybe, um, I'll say 200 um, meters length. This is going to be the surface area for exterior walls. Let's say 200 as well. Um, pretty quick surface area wall. Oh, this is this is repeating. Yeah. Yes, um, this one I'll skip. Roof structure area, surface area of the roof structure. If I have uh, that on 250, depending. I'm just assuming. And uh, if you come here, you'd see your 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 cost being placed, and it's already been done. This is I see this as 
way of speeding up your workflow. So if you scroll down here onto your material and labor subtotals, the information <coughs> the information is compounding and the total area, the information is compounding as you go on. The second part of this video, we are going to see how we can utilize the dashboard feature into our advantage. So what we need to do is to have a 3D file, a BIM project, where we can extract data from it and feed our dashboard. In this case, I'm going to use Archicad, but it's this process is the same if you are using other 3D or BIM softwares like Rivet and other the ones that you are comfortable with. So in this case, I'm going to demonstrate using Archicad. So what we need to do is to quickly assemble a building, a small building that we can now use it to extract information into our dashboard so that you can have it projected from our course summer. So what you see here is the template MSBIM uh, 2020, 2023 Pro template. That is, if you want to get this template, check the link on the description for you to optimize and speed up your workflow. So what I need to do, let me go to the graphic overhead combination and change this to the uh, favorite or uh, the style that I want. In this case, this is the one. So I will go to the design tool palette and start quickly producing a floor plane here or a, just a structure, a small structure. So I would first think to play some walls let me click on the wall what i'll do i'll go to the settings of the wall and click on the uh, the arrow it will load the the favorites so i have different types of favorites here for the walls what i'll do there's a folder that i'm looking for let me click on this a tab click on that tab there's a folder called a project starter in this template this is um almost everything that you need to assemble a building from scratch to to finish so i would go for the wall composite and let me use the geometry method of rectangular to place this wall and uh, click the first point of the rectangle on your screen and then um, move down to the second point but here i'm going to use some dimensions the width is going to be uh, let's make it 10 meters which is 10,000 millimeters and then I'll click up the, the downward arrow in your keyboard to access the length of the building I'm going to make it 15 meters then hit enter it will quickly place our walls they are solid walls because of the style that I've chosen you can check others you would have your composite displayed like that okay right i'm not gonna go in detail on how you can do or preparing your wall so i'm just gonna just for the sake of producing your own let me just move this into the center of this source map so i need to divide this wall. let's assume let's assume everything this is just um what we need to to start our project okay if you check on the 3d this is just a simple structure we can start our quantification as we model your building which is i find it fascinating in in, in in this process as i'm drawing i can have my or as i model i can have my quantification and cost also populating to the spreadsheet template so let's see how you can now link this model with our spreadsheet template okay so what i need here is to extract uh, data from these walls um i'm going to say let me uh yes stretch this tab what i need let's go to the view map under uh, reports i have reports templates here so i'm gonna go for the report for your um, superstructure super or shell superstructure if we click on brickwork so this is 
already been extracted to the thickness of our walls uh, on 0 0.4 which is um is it 400 thick then we have the surface area of our walls and we have the length the total length of our walls what we need here we can add a volume um to add a volume you just come here and then you just click on the scheme settings then you go down here under the fields let's add a field we can search for volume but we can just go straight into the section for the walls and then scroll down to find a volume we have surface area where is volume okay i'm not seeing it i'm gonna search for it volume there we go we have different types of volumes for the wall inside face wall outside face the inside i'm gonna go with the outside face and then hit enter or hit add hit ok it will be represented here it didn't capture it what happened let's remove this find add again it has to be just a volume that okay we have surface areas your areas are here cross then your volumes are here we go for this one then add okay so what i'll do i'll rename the the column header to be just oh this it's going to be meter meter third m3 just like this and then make sure it's bold as the same as the other ones you can double click on this on the cell to fit it nicely like that okay so these are basically the information that we need but then if you want to calculate the number of bricks um, for the wall you would need the volume and the volume of your your brick right so i hope this makes sense so what i would do i have to draw let me just do this i'm gonna draw a a model of a brickwork of a brick so let's just do this and then change the material to a brick i'll say a brick in our standards let's go back here i'll show you the in our standards these are the the standard size of bricks like i said it's also differ from country to country the sizes so in this case the volume of our brick is 1.2 cubic meters in our area because these are the dimensions so you need to multiply this let's find let's bring the calculator it's going to be 50 which is the height of the brick multiplied by these are 50 how do you say in meters okay i'll convert it meters later let's say 50 multiplied by 108 times 2 2 2 or 220 it equals this in millimeters so i'm going to divide this by 1000 to convert it into a meters so it's it's 1.2 roughly just to round it off okay so that's basically the volume so what we need to understand is um we have extracted the volume of uh i don't know why is, is it one that, that matched i don't think this is accurate no it is it is accurate it is accurate it is accurate no what i'm trying to say this um 
this value for the volume is not accurate because if you multiply this uh, by the thickness it's supposed to give you the, the volume but if you multiply this i don't think it will give you this so let's go back to our scheme settings and remove this because it doesn't give us an exact um uh, value let's add a field this time i'm going to use a general volume um field let's just find general volume cross and hit add hit okay this will give us an accurate let's um, get rid of that make it m3 and bold okay so that's basically so i'm gonna divide this by the by the number of um what you call by the volume of our brick which is 1.2 which is 1.2 so let's do that let's do that okay so what i need now is to take this information to our template or our costing template to take this information how do you take this information to into your excel spreadsheet i'm going to say file um let's say save as save as and then you change the file type to thp to the tab text tab text yeah then let's find the video let's find video then i'm gonna just save it here for now and then let's see how you can bring this information to the i would say go back to the spreadsheet because we're dealing with uh the brickwork so which is this we're gonna change this into a, a let's see okay let's not change it for now but let's bring that uh, our 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 exported data from architect and i'm going to place it here so i'm going to select the cell and go to the formulas no it's data and then it has to give me this okay let's add from text right hit okay and then locate uh, that from the folder let's do this there is the tabbed text you have to import it and then let's go to the next ignore everything here go to next I think everything is fine next finish Okay, here you can go to the properties and set this um, property ranges because it says you can refresh your information in 60 minutes but I want to refresh the information prompt for file name on refresh okay and then if you go to the formatting and layout um, you adjust column width automatically it depends because information can change you can have the values um, increased from Archicad. Once it gets here, it find out the cell is too small for that information. It has to adjust it automatically. And then, if the number of rows in the data range ranges upon refresh, you'd have to override existing cells. No, yeah, you have to override existing cells. Then hit OK. Hit OK. So I can cancel. Okay. Let's see. Cancel. Cancel. All right. So that information is here. We brought it here. So um, what we need is the volume. I would say equals. I'll click on the cell of the uh, of our our dashboard and then say equals this, and then you come here on the status bar multiplied by one point two. Oh no, sorry, not multiply. Divide because we are finding the total 
number of bricks we're going to divide um, this um, 57.4 by 1.2 so we have 47 and uh, this is a, we're going to change our value here we're going to say number of bricks Okay. that's number of bricks so this information can be um, shared to the or projected from our quartz summary in this case here is going to change because now you have the quantity of the bricks which is in a number so I'm going to say unit here and then quantity how many are they we are from i'm gonna click on the cell and then go to the dashboard and bring this number oh sorry you have to say equals first click equals and then you go to your dashboard you extract this information hit enter they will be 47.8 bricks and this will be now the cost of each brick so let's say one brick cost um uh, uh, a dollar for example so that will be the cost of uh, the total bricks which is uh, 47 so I, I hope this makes a lot of sense guys to you there are a lot of things that you can achieve by using this method for example if we were to do the footings let's let's move on to the footings let's move on to footings and say footings I can use have a beam tool and then click on the the favorites let's open the substructure footings that are there i'm gonna go with this one this is a profile one then under foundation view let's right click on the ground floor and uh, show it as a trace reference so that you can trace over it then i'm going to just trace that like that just to place our footing Okay, so if you go to our reports and uh, substructure, find your footing concrete. So it gives you this volume. Nine point eight uh, meters. So this is information that is important while taking it to the our excel spreadsheet you don't have to you can just copy this information and then go paste it there but you would want also to link your if you want this to be refreshable every time when you open your, your spreadsheet it has to be um, linked so let's say save us and you use the tabbed text for the, the save Let's go back to the cost estimator tool and then under footing right here so we're gonna go to the dashboard let's say let's load that from data and then from text i want to load our footing concrete data then finish let's say finish and then properties make sure so everything is fine here and then hit ok there we go now that information is here so that's how you populate your your refreshable dashboard so that's basically how i've i've designed this dashboard i was extracting this information from the project to come and project it into my cost summary so in this case under volume we need um this to our our cost summary so I'm going to say this equals to dashboard this and then hit enter okay that's basically how you do it so this is just on an, an entry level so what we've been providing is an MS beam costing and estimating uh, tool 
that has everything detailed um, dashboard if you see here we have some measures this is just a cover to start with and we have some measures area where we do some calculations as you can see for subsection and then we have the cost summary cost summary is that includes the material and labor so we have cost summary one also it includes material and labor and then we have cost, cost summary cost, cost comparison with the contractors if you want to compare with the the bidding the contractor company and then we have aggregate metadata that's where this is being linked to our project as you can see all this information that coming from our aggregate so every time once the model changes i come here and then refresh it will automatically update the whole document so this side is the some subfolders of each section for example these are the subfolder for or sub tab for the foundations where it's been detailed as you can see it is the quantity and the rate that of each gives us a cost Con concrete works this is more detailed um, cost and estimating um, template so this is the standard for the the quantity surveyors uh, activities so that's basically that. This template has been it's been ongoing for a while. If you want to download it, also check on the link on the description and download it. Okay. If you have any issues or you didn't understand, um, maybe area that I didn't explain it very well, let me know in the comment section and I would respond to a single comment for this video. I'll be waiting for you guys there. Thank you once again. If you've managed to make it to the end of this video, make sure you subscribe. To this channel if you haven't already share like this video make sure you share with someone you think might be useful to him or her so i would meet you again in the next video by the way don't forget uh we have a, a refreshed store our new store is being refreshed branded very well and everything made for you to process everything at an easy very elegant make sure to check the link also in the description for our new store let us know what you think about the all the changes to the store and it's packed with new products as well at a at an affordable price because one thing we've been trying to work harder on it is to try reduce the price for our project of our for our products they've been um, a tremendous improvement in that area so check our store in the link and you can also give feedback within our store let, let us know by sending us feedback via the store thank you and see you once again